So to start here, I wanted to talk a little bit about the directing, especially because you have a, a career where you worked with some of the best of the best. So I was wondering if maybe one, anyone gave you any advice before jumping into this, or maybe if you were looking over someone's shoulder while you were working on their film. Uh, yeah, I mean, every director I've worked with and every movie I've watched and uh, it has influenced the way I direct, and including everybody I've ever spoken to. I mean, you really do take your life experience whenever you're creating any art. Um, that's the only way that you that I know how you could do it. Um, that said, David O. Russell is a huge part of, uh, of giving me the confidence to, to direct a movie. He was so collaborative in the movies that we did, allowing me to really be a part of it. And, and the same way with Clint Eastwood um, and Todd Phillips. I've been very lucky with, uh, I, think, I think maybe they recognized that I wasn't looking at it as an actor, but looking at it as someone to help them tell the story in any way that they want me to, to be there for. And um, so, so I've been very, very lucky. I could definitely tell. And, I mean, I can't say enough about your performance, too. I'm a huge American Horror Story fan, and I'm also familiar with your work with uh, Robert Rodriguez. And then when you look at the character here, it is just so strikingly different. But I was wondering, is there anything about your experience working on those two projects that you were able to use here? Well, uh, you know, I, I had those experiences. So I had been on a set before, and I had worked, uh, you know, learning about cameras and, you know, where to stand. and. Uh, you know, camera angles and things like that. Uh, but this was very different. Uh, and I think that every uh, project is very different. And he's he's such a sensational director, you know, like he would frame up the shots with the, like ninja-like precision and then, you know, then let this explosion of freedom happen on set. Uh, and he, he would say, you know, you know, all you gotta do is trust me. He says it to Ali in the movie. He would say it to me on set. And I just felt like I could I could fly in and, uh, and become somebody that's completely not me. I think uh, one of my biggest personal takeaways from the movie is I walked out thinking about overcoming self-doubt and also mm. the support system you have in your life and mm. how important it is to kind of sit down and think about that list of names who really made a difference. So I was wondering who are those people for you and is there anyone out there that maybe had the smallest influence and doesn't know that you want to express that too? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's the beauty, uh, hopefully, uh, of, you know, a small gesture uh, can go such a long way and you don't even realize it. Um, that, 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 that's a, hopefully a lesson in humanity and just human interaction and how much, I don't know, I think we all need each other in, in the most essential way possible and that's sort of one of the things that we were trying to convey in this movie is what happens when just two people believe in each other, what they're able to accomplish and how hard life is at the same time. That's the dilemma. Absolutely. Is there anyone specific for you? Uh, for me, it was my family always encouraging me to be creative. You know, I loved playing piano. I loved writing songs. I loved acting, um, and my parents supported me in that. Um, and then my act, uh, my, I had various acting teachers that I, I just, you know, loved so much. And uh, I have to shout out specifically Don Lawrence, my vocal coach. Um, he believed in me so much. He, he, when I met him, he was teaching like Mick Jagger and working with Billy Joel and uh, he was working Christina Aguilera, all these like huge artists and I was just this little girl and he said, I have no time for you in my schedule but I believe in you so I'm going to make time and I'm going to give it to you at half the price. Uh, so, uh, you know, 100 people in the room you can have and 99 don't believe in you and just one does and it changes your whole life and, and I feel the same way about Bradley, you know, Bradley believed in me and you know, I really believed in him and I still do all the time and it, I think that shows itself in this film. I think, you know, if we didn't have that actual connection and friendship, you know, behind the scenes that it would be very different, uh, but he, he captured the honesty of our, you know, private friendship as well as, you know, the the love story and the trust that they have with, with each other and how much they believe in each other and how that makes their love soar. 